So in the last episode, we learned how to insert data into our database directly from inside our website. And this episode, we're going to talk about how to update and delete data from inside our database directly from inside our website. Now, as you can see, I did change things a little bit from the last episode inside my index page. I did actually include a second form and I did also change a couple of things inside the original form up here. Uh, so just to quickly go over what exactly I changed, I did go in and change the title. So now it says change account. I did also include a title for the second form down here. So it says the lead account and I went in and changed the action of the first one. So I went inside the update form and said I wanted to send all the user data to a user update page that we haven't created yet, but we're going to in just a second. And inside the delete form down here, I just went in and said I wanted to send the data to a user delete Ink the PHP file. And I did also delete the email input from inside this form. And that is basically all I did here. And just to point it out here, I do also have the form .ink the PHP file in the last episode, since we basically just need to copy paste everything. Uh, so just to show it, I still have it in here. So we have the code here. Uh, for people who have not followed the last episode, you can just kind of copy paste what I have in here um, and just use this code when it comes to that next part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside my includes folder and create these files here. So I'm going to create a user update that the PHP. So I'm going to right click on includes and say I want to include a new file and just basically paste in the name of that file. Then I'm also going to be creating one for the delete user or user delete that the PHP. So I'm going to copy the name here, go inside includes, right click and create a new file. So the first thing we're going to do is, of course, talk about how to update a user inside our website. So what I'll do is I'll go inside my user update and paste in the code from my form handler. So going inside my form handler, I'm just going to copy everything, go inside user update and just paste everything in. And all you need to do here is essentially just go in and say you want to change the query down there just slightly so it actually matches up with a update statement instead of a insert statement. So it's quite simple to just go in and run a update statement instead of a insert statement uh, from the last episode. So I'm just going to text wrap everything here so we can see everything on screen. And we're just basically going to change the insert statement into a update statement. So we're going to say we want to go in here and update and I want to update my users table and I want to set some certain values. So I can just basically delete everything that we have here. I want to set the username equal to something new, which in this case is going to be a placeholder uh, because we did talk about prepared statements in the last episode. So we are going to create a placeholder called username. And then afterwards here, we're going to say what else needs to be changed. So in this case, I do also have a password column that needs to be set equal to the password submitted by the user. So again, we're going to say single quotes. And inside of here, we're going to refer to a placeholder called PWD. And then we're going to add in the last one, which is going to be the email. So we have a email column that is going to be set equal to, again, single quotes. And then we insert a placeholder called email. After doing this, we need to tell it where inside the table we want to change this, because if I were to just submit this, then all the users inside my table are going to be uh, updated to what the user submitted just now. So I want to go in and say where, and in this case here, we're just gonna go ahead and say we want to grab a user that has a certain ID as something specific. So I'm just gonna say ID is equal, go inside my database here and just pick a random user that I have. So I can say Besser is gonna have his username changed. Uh, so we're gonna say his ID is two. I'm gonna go inside. And again, if you have another user with a different ID, just go ahead and choose some sort of user from your database. In my case, I'm gonna choose Besser that has an ID as two. Um, of course, this is very unorthodox because typically inside a real website, you would have a user that is locked into the website currently who is trying to change his user information. And because of that, you would actually have his user ID grabbed and stored inside a session variable. So we could actually just grab the user ID and say, oh, okay, so that's the user we need to change this information of. Uh, so right now we're just manually going inside the database and grabbing a random user and manually typing it in here because you know, we're not, we don't really have a real login system right now. So this is just for practice. Okay. So we're just grabbing a random user here. Uh, so doing this now, basically what you would just do is you would go down, you would bind the parameters in the same sense, you know, you would actually prepare the statement, bind the parameters, execute the statement. And that is actually pretty much it. I just realized that we don't actually need to have these single quotes up here. So let's actually go ahead and delete those. So we're not going to have single quotes around the user data. Uh, inside this query up here. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete them like so. 
And with that saved, we're gonna go back inside the website and actually test this out. So I'm going to actually have something written in. So in my case here, I'm going to change Bass's username to Bass is cool. And I'm gonna have one, two, three, four as the password. And then I'm going to change the email to Bass is cool at gmail.com. And if we were to click update here, you can now see that we get sent back to the front page. If I go inside the database, refresh it, and now everything has been updated. So Bessa now has a username as Bessa is cool, one, two, three, four, and Bessa is cool at gmail.com. So everything gets updated in here and looks correct. But now what if I want to delete a user from inside my website? How can we do that? Because that is also very simple to do. Uh, so if I were to go inside my user delete and copy paste everything from inside my form handler, so we're just gonna copy everything again, insert that inside user delete, now we basically do the same thing. We just go inside the query up here and say, okay, so we're not running a insert statement. We are actually running a delete statement. And this one is going to be even easier because we have less data to handle. So we can just go inside and say, okay, so in this case here, the user did actually not submit a email. So I'm just gonna go and delete that one for now. Then I'm going to go down and change my insert into statement into a delete statement. So I'm going to say, I'm going to delete from users and I'm going to say where a certain username and password is equal to what the user submitted. I could also use an ID just like we did with update because that would be the typical thing when you have an actual login system where the user is logged in. So you have their ID and you can do that. Uh, but for now, let's just go ahead and use the username and password since we did submit it here. So why not just use it? So I'm going to say where the username column is going to be equal to a placeholder, which is username. And then I'm going to say and where the password column is going to be equal to the password that the user submitted. And do also make sure you close off with a semicolon here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and delete the last bind parameter because we don't need that since we don't have a email. And this is basically all we have to do. Then we can actually go inside and delete the user. So if I were to save this, go inside my website here and refresh everything and say, I now want to go in and delete the user that has a certain username and password. So in this case, I could say, let's go ahead and delete Danny that has a password as one, two, three. So I would go inside my website here, go down inside delete account. I can say Danny that has a password as one, two, three, delete his account, then we're back again. So if we were to go inside and refresh, you can now see that Danny has been deleted. And this is basically how you can go in and update and delete data from inside a database directly from inside a website. So it's quite simple to do. Uh, in the next video, we're gonna talk about how to actually select data and show it inside our website. So that is going to be very fun to do. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I'll see you guys in the next video.